when you don't sleep well, really the only option is rapid aging because sleep is meant to restore your body. So if you're not doing that and also damaging your body from not breathing at night, it only goes one way. And the face is usually the first place this shows up. That's why the whole anti-aging skincare thing exists so we can make sure this looks good. But when you're not sleeping well, you're going to have accelerated aging, baggy eyes, you know, and extra loose skin here. That's why I want to talk about this phenomenon known as sleep apnea phase. Some people are more aware of it. Like if you're wearing a CPAP, it really does a number with that pressure all over in your face, but it will happen even without that here because sleep apnea, it destroys your skin, your facial muscles and lymph flow, and it can cause you just to age and age and age and age way too fast. So we're going to go over what's going on with that. Uh, again, educational purposes only. Uh, always talk to your doctor. So how we'll break this down is with the three main ways in which this destruction happens, because then we can draw lines from this is the problem. Okay, this is a potential solution. So the very first thing, this is more so baggy eyes when they're like kind of puffy like this. I'm not sure. I guess I can't do it like that. I'm glad I spent the time to showcase that. The reason it happens is because at night, the reason this happens is because when we're sleeping, lymph, which is a fluid in a different compartment, think of it as the, the shoulder lane of the highway, the blood vessels are the main lanes, but the shoulder lane, that's your lymphatic system. It's right there. It's carrying different stuff. It's a real thing. Now, when you sleep, it should be able to flow nice. However, when you are not breathing well, when you have big changes in your chest and your abdomen because of these big swings in breathing, and you have the inflammation going on, then the lymphatic system gets stuck. So think of it like this. When we have big swings and big changes, maybe we have some construction on the roads. Now that shoulder isn't as clear as it used to be. And then if things are inflamed, the whole road's on fire. Yeah, you're not getting many vehicles through there. Same thing with lymph. So this disruption in lymph flow will then lead to fluid accumulation, usually around here that then creates this like sunken eye look going on. So that's one big area. That's a big problem. Number two is weak connective tissue. So connective tissue, really anything like skin, ligaments, things of that nature, certain world that starts with C that we'll talk about in a moment. Effectively, when you have apnea, snoring as well, if we look at like these different cells here, so like you have all these different cells that should be connected together. So if we look at the, um, this side, where's my cursor? If we look over here with the control, this is how the cells, like in your face, muscles, all that should look. It should be relatively tight together. However, in those with sleep apnea, it gets a little loosey-goosey. And when you have loosey-goosey cells, that will accumulate and add up so that things start to sag and stuff. That's where you get the, where did I have that? Like the double chin, a little turkey neck action going on. This is that at a microscopic level. All right, so that's another big avenue for us to address. And number three is good old oxidative stress. So your skin deals with a lot of stress, such as sunlight. And when that happens, you need to rapidly repair your skin. So when you have oxidative stress, a lot going on, it's going to first show up in your skin, All right? So when you're not sleeping well, then as a result, you're causing more damage to your skin because you're causing more oxidative stress, but then also you're reducing the main substance that allows your skin to heal at night. That's melatonin. So normally melatonin's high at night, sleep apnea, it's gonna be way lower. Not only will that ruin your day, make you sleepy because you didn't have high quality sleep, melatonin is also the primary internal skin product that your body makes. So when you're not sleeping well, that's how damage in the skin accumulates. So those are the big three boogers, or whatever you wanna call them. So what do we do about them? Glad you didn't ask. So fixing your face, I guess I wrote that. Okay, moving on. Number one is being able to get the lymph flowing yourself here. You don't need to jump up and down on a trampoline. I mean, I guess you could, <laughs> but anything you can do to allow for like the drainage of lymph in your face. So, I mean, you could go get a lymph drainage massage. You could totally do that. Uh, but the research has also shown you, you know, those like little rollers. I got a picture, I think. Yeah, like these little rollers, what's it called? Take a jade roller. This is jade color. I'm taking a real guess on that one. But this has been shown in the short term and long term 
you help with the following. So it'll help with skin blood flow as shown here, short-term massage, increase skin blood flow after 10 minutes, and then five weeks go on. They keep doing this lot of, you know, rolly rolly, uh, continues to increase skin blood flow. And anytime you have more blood flow to the skin, that is going to help nourish. And anytime you have more blood flow while you're like deforming the tissues, then it will do the reverse of what we saw over here. You will go from loosey goosey to uh, over here and being a lot more cohesive and whatever the opposite of loosey goosey is, righty tighty. Not sure. There. So that's the first thing which addresses lymph, and then, you know, kind of part of the bringing things together. And you can facilitate that even further with collagen supplementation. So, what they found in the research, this is a study looking at a bunch of different other studies. So, combine them all together. Very, very high level of evidence here. And they found favorable results of using hydrolyzed collagen supplementation compared with placebo in terms of skin hydration, elasticity, and fewer wrinkles. So, it's something that does indeed work. I don't have a preferred brand, but uh, I would probably go for something that's grass fed, doesn't have a whole lot of other stuff in it in terms of collagen. And then the last piece, red light. It doesn't need to be this mass. Red light has been shown to help offset a lot of the oxidative stress, especially in the skin layers, because it's going to contact that first. And that's why when they look at studies here, treated subjects experienced significantly improved skin complexion and of note, increased measured collagen density from red light. So you could use one of these masks. You could use a box and sit in front of it. Make sure you cover your eyes. Now you could use the sun. You don't have a similar effect, but a lot of the benefit comes from this narrow wavelength. Bam. Now, obviously one of the biggest things, if you can just breathe better at night and thus sleep better, uh, that would be a little bit simpler because at the end of the day, it's a fast inhale, pulling things in. So if you get things nice, slow, and steady, it allows things to stay open and good. Now, the number one way if you're doing that, retraining CO2 breathing, number one way I think you all should do that is being able to have a plan that is based for you, helps you progress so you can have a lot more success a lot faster here. So that's what we have in the PECUS breathing program where you get your own personalized breathing protocol so you can easily move through things, have an easy step-by-step -step all done for you there and also get direct access to me. So we'll make sure that everything is happening right. Well, with regard to breathing, not absolutely everything in your life, that'd be a little much. Uh, and that is something that the pricing is less than a dollar per day for a better one third of your life that will then make the other two thirds much better as well. So you wanna check that out, especially if you've been on the fence because a lot of people recently like, oh, I waited too long. And then a week later, like, oh my God, I'm sleeping way better. Okay. So that's you. Here you go. <laughs> There's your link. Uh, it's either you can go directly to ochnow.com forward slash program, or I will put the link in the description. All right. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.